Hello, my name is Christine Woods. I am an online reference and instruction librarian for St. Leo University. This video is designed to help you with your assignment in Psychology 110, the Compare and Contrast Critique Assignment. In this lesson, we will review how to pick a psychology topic, how to locate one source of popular psychology on that topic, how to locate one source of empirical research from a scholarly journal on that topic, and then compare and contrast these sources. The first thing you need to do is pick a topic. You can make a list of what interests you, skim your textbook, look at the APA website, browse through psychology magazines like Psychology Today, and even check out the daily news and pick a topic that you're really interested in that's related to psychology. I recommend using the American Psychological Association website. They have a great list of topics, and for every topic, if you're interested, you can click on it and find out more. For this assignment, it is really important to understand the definition of popular psychology. Popular psychology articles are in magazines like Psychology Today. You can also find them in newspapers, TV news websites, and other websites. So what makes that information popular versus scholarly? Usually there are more images and photos, colorful layouts, texts in different fonts and sizes. Usually the information is written for the average person to understand. Even though it provides valuable information about a psychology topic, it is just done in a more popular way. Usually there are advertisements. And remember, even though it says MD in the title, WebMD is not a scholarly source. For this assignment, it is really important to understand the definition of empirical research. Empirical research reports the results of a study that uses data derived from an actual observation or experimentation. An empirical research article typically includes the following sections, methods, results, and discussion. The following methodologies are examples of empirical research. An empirical study, quantitative, qualitative, clinical, or longitudinal study. If you read an article and it's more like an essay, it's probably a literature review. For this assignment, it's really important to understand the difference between scholarly journals and popular journals. Articles in scholarly journals contain mostly text, contain medical and technical terms, usually contain graphs, charts, and tables of data which are from the results of a study, contain references, usually they are very limited to images and photos. Peer-reviewed means that the articles are reviewed by psychologists and experts in psychology before they are published, and there is an editor and an editorial board of psychologists that review the articles before they are published. So peer-reviewed journals add an extra level of credibility and reliability to the information that you're reading. I am now going to show you how to search for a popular psychology article. We're going to start on the main St. Leo Library homepage, and then we're going to click where it says Databases. Recommended in your course syllabus and the assignment directions is a database called PsycInfo. But if you search just that one database, you'll be missing out on a lot of great articles. So I recommend that you search all of EBSCO. So let's go ahead and click on the link to EBSCO. At this point, you would usually sign in with your St. Leo University username and password, just like you do with your email. Now we're going to select all EBSCO host databases. Then we're going to select all and click on continue. The other thing that you should do is click on advanced search. It will simply give you more options to do a great job with your searching. So let's go ahead and type in our topic to search. I'm going to search for PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. Spelling it out can help with your search. Next, we're going to come down the screen and we're going to search for full text. That way we know when we get the results, we'll be able to actually read the articles. I'm going to also search for the specific journal Psychology Today. 
you can also limit the years so that you're searching within just the past five years. And now we're going to go ahead and select search. Let's take a look at our results. There are several good articles. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one called The Quest to Cure PTSD. Now at this point, sometimes when you click, you will actually see the full article with the full text. We actually need to click on the PDF full text in order to read this article. So one of the things you may notice right away is that popular psychology articles will have pictures, they will have um, colorful layouts, different sizes of fonts, lots of quotes, and ways to get the reader interested. So when you look at an article like this that is in a popular magazine, a magazine that is often, um, you know, places like Barnes & Noble where you can purchase it, um, I think you'll notice the difference between this and a scholarly source uh, when we look at the scholarly version in just a few moments. Now this article contains valuable information. Um, Psychology Today has an editor. Um, they only accept articles from people who are knowledgeable and who are, um, you know, really qualified to write about these topics. But it is, it is the treatment of the topic and the way it is written for the average person to read and the fact that it does not contain um, a specific results of a study that makes it different. Now I'm going to show you one other thing and that is I highly recommend that if you find an article that you use the tools here such as download or print to save it. And the other thing I will show you is this um, citation feature. If you click on this um, icon that says cite, then you can see the APA citation. There are a few things that you would need to correct. The author's last name, comma, first initial is correct. And then you only put the year. Even though magazines are published monthly or quarterly, you still only put the year. Then the article title should be in what's called sentence case. That means that the first word is capitalized and then Q for quest should be lowercase. C for cure should be lowercase. PTSD is in all capitals because it is an acronym. And then Psychology Today, which is the um, title of the magazine, is in capital letters, um, is capitalized, excuse me, and it is in italics. The volume number is in italics, but then the issue number inside the parentheses is not in italics. And then you should have the page numbers. In this case, they only have the starting page, so that is one thing that would need to be corrected. Using this citation feature is just helpful so that um, you, know, you get a little bit of help. It is still important to double check it and fix any mistakes before you turn in your assignments. I am now going to show you how to search for a popular psychology article. This time, we are not going to select Psychology Today. We do need to select full text, and you can also narrow down the years so that you can get the most recent articles possible. There are lots of other great resources besides Psychology Today. So one of the things that we can do after we start to search is look on the left side of the screen. And at this point, we don't want academic journals or journals. You could select news or magazines, which would provide a popular psychology article. So let's look at an example of an article that is in a different source, not just psychology today. Exercise and Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder is in a magazine called American Fitness. We're going to click on the PDF full text to open it and be sure and read the full article. 
So once again, we can see there are um, pictures, the font is colorful in some cases, there are large and small fonts. This article provides valuable information. Even though it does have statistics, um, it is not the results of a specific study. Um, so this is a quality article. It is the treatment of the topic, the way that it is talked about, that makes it popular. Usually it's written for the average person to be able to read and understand. Over here on the right side of your screen, don't forget to click on the cite icon and look at the APA citation. In this case, I see a mistake here. The author's name is in all capitals, so that would need to be corrected. The date is in parentheses. Um, the article title should be in what's called sentence case. So remember, E for exercise would be the only thing, uh, the only word that is capitalized. The article, um, the journal title, American Fitness, um, is capitalized and in italics, which is correct. The volume number is in italics is correct. The issue number, which is in the parentheses, is not in italics, that is correct, and then the page numbers. So remember, when you use the um, site feature within the databases, it is always important to double check. It is still a huge time savings, even if you do have to fix um, some of the small things like the way things are capitalized. Don't forget to utilize the controls at the top of the screen of the PDF to download um, the article and save it. Now I'm going to show you how to search for an empirical study that is in a scholarly journal. We're starting from the advanced search page and we are searching all of the EBSCO databases. Be sure and check off full text so that you can actually read the whole article. This time we're going to check off scholarly peer-reviewed journals. We are also going to limit the date to the last five years. And now we're going to click on search. Now, after we have done our search, you'll see that there are lots of different kinds of articles. Um, you can see the icon that says academic journal, um, which is a good indication that it's probably a scholarly source. But just to be absolutely sure, if you come down on the left side of your screen, you can actually limit and narrow down your search by methodology. In this case, we wanna make sure and check off empirical study. After limiting our search to empirical studies in academic journals, now we can choose one. I am simply going to choose the very first one. When you click on the article to find out more information, one of the things that you can do is look at the description, look at the abstract, and in this case we can specifically see the methodology is described as an empirical study and specifically a quantitative study. In this case we can read the article full text online and it is divided by the context so you can see uh, the method that was used. You could skip straight to that section by clicking on that link. You can look at the data analysis and the results and the discussion. These are definitely um, indications that this is a scholarly article and that it contains empirical research. Don't forget, if you want to, you can click on the PDF full text. You can download or print the PDF version. I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the original um, scholarly source in the um, original journal. And you can see there are some words that are you know, colorful. There are some changes in fonts, especially for the headings, uh, but this is a scholarly treatment. It is not uh, written for the average person to understand. Um, has a lot of, you know, uh, medical terms and things like that in there. Um, you can see the data analysis, the charts and graphs and things like that are a really good indication that this is 
you know, an empirical research study. So don't forget, you can download or print it. You can also click on cite. So let's take a look at the citation. If you look at the APA citation, it's very important to check just to be sure that there aren't any mistakes. After you find your articles, then it's time to compare and contrast them. This is directly from your syllabus. Think critically about the merit of the information in each article by asking the following questions about each. What is the main issue, problem, or intention of the article? In what ways does the article investigate various points of view and assumptions? What evidence is provided to support the issue? In what ways does the article discuss consequences and implications of reasoning provided? And in what ways does the information provided help you make an informed decision about the purpose? Don't forget to format your citations correctly using the APA format. Don't forget to double check citations found using the library databases. Usually in-text citations are the author's last name and year in parentheses. Then you put the full citation at the end on a separate page called References. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out for help. There are lots of ways to get help. From the main St. Leo Library website, you can ask questions using the live chat feature. You can also ask a librarian and get an email response. And you can call the library using the 1-800 number. You can contact me at christine.woods at stleo.edu or make an appointment with any of our wonderful librarians. Don't hesitate to reach out to get help anytime you need help with assignments or projects or research.